Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and happy 2019. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of products that I had bought a couple months ago. Um, I had filmed a Ulta haul and I had purchased a bunch of Too Faced products, um, specifically the 2D Fruity line. So I'm going to dabble into those products today. If you guys want to see that Ulta haul, I will have it linked right up above. So I have two eyeshadow palettes here. I have the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry eyeshadow palette. And then I also have the Sparkling Pineapple eyeshadow palette. These are the two eyeshadow palettes in the collection. This is what the Berry eyeshadow palette looks like. And the Sparkling Pineapple eyeshadow palette just looks like this. And it has a lot of the browns. And it has this gorgeous sparkly green shade. I also have these two face palettes here. I have the Pineapple Paradise Strobing bronzer in the shade pineapple sun and it just looks like this and then i also have the uh, fruit cocktail blush duo and this is in the shade apricot in the act and then this one just looks like this i also have this tutti fruity comfort lip glaze and this is in the shade grin and barrett and the last thing i have here is the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. And, and this setting spray smells so good. It does smell like watermelon. I think I'm going to use the Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette just because I am wearing a pink shirt today and I have some running around to do after this video. So I am going to play with this palette for my eyes. So if you guys would like to see the look that I create, then just keep on watching. As usual, I'm just going to start by priming my eyelids. And as you guys already know, I'm using my favorite primer, which is the Luscious Angel Eyes eyeshadow primer. To set the primer that I put on my lids, I'm just going to use the Norvina palette and I always use the shade base and I'm just going to fluff this all over my eyelid just to set that base that we laid down. So the first shade I'm going to jump into is this shade right here and this shade is called Dazzle and I'm just going to place this along my crease and up to my brow bone just to give a little bit of a highlight. The next shade I'm going to go into is this shade right here and this shade is called Boys and Berry. Just going to start working this right into my crease. And I'm also going to take that same shade and I'm just going to take my brush and slide it down onto the lid so it covers the outer corner. Next shade I'm going to go in is this purple one right here. This is a purple shimmer color and this shade is called That's My Jam. And I'm just going to apply this with my BH Cosmetics number nine brush and I am just going to start placing this right on the lid kind of in that negative space that we made with the color before going to jump back into this shade right here and I'm just going to pick up a little bit on this Luxie 141 mini round brush and I am just going to start blending these two shades together so that it all blends together nicely. For the inner corner and highlight, I'm just going to jump back into this shade right here, which is called Dazzle, and I'm going to place this in my inner corner, just 
just for a little pop of color. And I'm going to put this right up on the brow bone. To finish the eyes, I'm going to jump back into this shade once again. This shade is called Boysenberry, and I'm just taking it on that same little uh, Luxie 141 mini round brush, and I'm going to start buffing this right in the lower lash line. Moving right along, I'm going to jump into the bronzer. Now, I did already bronze my face with my original bronzing powder, um, just because when I looked at this, this does have a little bit of shimmer to it, and I didn't know how well that would look with just um, this bronzer and not my original bronzer. So, I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics number no. 2 brush, and I'm going to dip right into the bronzer shade and I'm just going to put some of this right over the area that I already bronzed and as you guys can see there is a lot of shimmer to it so It definitely gives you that like bronzy glow kind of look. Moving on to the blush duo. This again is in the shade Apricot in the Act. Now I'm just going to dip into this shade right here. Now for the highlighter, I'm going to use this lighter shade in the Bronzing Duo. Um, I was thinking about using this shade right here, but this just seems like it's a little too dark for me. So I'm just going to take this 605 Cookie Cosmetics Fan Brush, and I'm going to go right in to this sparkly shade, and put this right on my cheekbones bring it up on my forehead this is a very very pretty shade okay so now that I look like a glowing ball of sunshine I'm going to jump into the lip product this is the Tutti Fruity Comfort Lip Glaze and this is in the shade Grin and Barrett. This shade is very sparkly, if you guys can see that. So I'm just going to pop that right on. And ta da! There it is. I usually like pairing this over like my favorite um, lipstick, but for this video, I figured I would just use. Um, it alone so you guys can see like the actual like effect of it by itself so moving on to the last product which is the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow setting spray and it just looks like this so we are going to give it a shake to our face Lastly, um, I'm going to apply my mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. And I always apply my mascara last because I have noticed when I apply my mascara and then I do my setting spray, I get like little black spots underneath my eye like throughout the day. And I just feel like my mascara runs and... Um, so I've just been doing it this way where I set my entire face and then I will go in and do my mascara. This isn't the first time that I have used them. I have played around with them a little bit. Um, so this video, of course, is not going to be a first impressions because I have used 
these products before but I just never filmed it it was kind of just a day where I sat down got ready played with a little bit of the stuff and went on about my day so um I really enjoyed the eyeshadow palette. Of course, there is the second eyeshadow palette that I didn't use today, but I will use this in a upcoming video. If you guys would like to see that video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I always have the link at the end of the video, and of course, the subscribe button down below. And to make sure you don't miss out on any of my future uploads, make sure to hit that push notification bell. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you guys have used any of these products, and if you have, what was your favorite? So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.